Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for cancer. Now you can have cancer anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And cancer, this message may resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Now what is up with this? Look at this. I had to leave it when I cut right here. It's a message about communication that wants to come in. And this communication, baby, is going to make you happy or this may be you communicating and it's been a long road to get to this communication or maybe to the point of communication that you are about to provide for a special person but i don't see cancer chasing put it in the comments baby because i see cancer attracting men or female it doesn't matter because a lot of you guys did too much chasing and you're at your point where you know what fuck it I'm going to let God handle what he needs to handle to bring in this happiness. And when you let go, you started to notice many things were coming. And maybe in communication could be downloads that are coming to you on how to move. Because I'm here. Cancer. You have a lot of ancestors there, and I don't know who uses dude, but I'm hearing, dude, you're doing amazing. Put it in the comments if you know that, because I'm hearing even the devil is freaking out. And that's crazy. Some of you guys, the devil sees you in this happiness. And it almost communicates to its demons and saying, how the hell are you not affecting cancer? And oh, I got it just hit me right now. I just got a download. And this could be even a Capricorn that's just in their devilish energy. And I'm hearing they're mad because <laughs> you keep getting blessed. So maybe you have a Capricorn that's like, how the fuck does this person keep getting blessed? And or, Cap or Cancer, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, but. Look at this. This is your main energy right here. And yes, you're standing in this energy of the high priestess. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Pisces. But look at this. The king of what? Of cups. Cancer, this is you. Yes. Look at you. Your third eye is open. You're wearing your freaking crown. And look. Even though there's darkness around you. I'm hearing Cancer. When you fucking pop in to any room. And this is for my high vibrational cancers that have already taken their fucking power back, baby. And they want me to say it just like that because you've dealt with too much darkness with people just putting shit. Mm, it's almost like they set in traps for you. It's almost like the, even I'm hearing the enemy, the devil has used the closest ones to you. But man, I'm talking to cancers that fucking kept their focus on God, the universe and put in first that no matter what you had to release, you still kept God first. That's what I keep hearing. And your light irritates the darkness. So I'm hearing you bring light to the dark. And look, this is you just patiently waiting on God, even though you have been again in the dark, patiently trusting in divine timing is what I'm hearing. So some of you guys could be born on the 10th. I'm here at the 8th, the 6th, and the 2nd. Right behind is the number 3. Look, patiently waiting. You got the higher font right here. So you may be dealing with the Virgo. You have Virgo in your chart. But look at you. Even in the darkness, el pinche diablo can't scare you. The devil can't scare you. You trust in God in the universe. And look. Patiently, patiently waiting for what? Your ships to come in or for the communication because we did have what? Communication coming in from what? The universe. And this communication is going to make you very happy. And you're in this empress, uh, maybe you're in your empress energy, but you're in this what? The high priestess energy, patiently waiting. Look at this with your three of wands. See, you're, these ships are coming in. And cancer, you have somebody that is mad on how is it you can continue to be blessed. 
And this particular person could have been a freaking Capricorn. I don't know why I said freaking, but some of you guys have a little bit of mmm when it comes to this Capricorn. Maybe this Capricorn, if it's in love, because they want me to jump into love, this was very materialistic, men or female. However you, however it may be, maybe they try to dress provocative, men or female. And it fucking, they wanted me to stop right there. It didn't drive you nuts because you were jealous. It drove you, it just bothered you is what I'm hearing. And it made me stop right there because it bothered you because you love this particular person, not by their outside appearance. You love this particular person of who they were inside. And even if they were playing this sheep's and wolf clothing or however you may say it, some of you guys saw through that facade and you had genuine love for this particular person. And all they wanted, all they thought about is how they could steal your light, how they could steal your blessing. They were freaking stuck. And for some of you guys, this could be you just indecisive, not knowing to let them go or what. This particular person, if this is your one seven, this could be a air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or like I said, a Capricorn that was just fake as fuck, you know, couldn't decide for some of them. You were dealing with a Capricorn that had mommy issues. Mommy, what do you think? Or daddy, what do you think? And they couldn't make up their own freaking mind on if they wanted to perceive a relationship with you. For some of you guys, you stayed obedient to God and you went on your spiritual journey and they were meant to cross your path. But here you go with mommy, poppy issues. And they, they listen. Some of them even listen to a sibling, which probably had secret feelings for you. And since you didn't want them and you wanted your person, they, they, they put shit in their ears, what I'm hearing. So they pretty much sabotaged their, oh, they sabotaged a divine partnership. Wow. And this particular person wasn't in there. They, they just weren't in. This was you. You got tired of being in your head is what I'm hearing, Cancer. And you had to let go of this freaking energy. This energy caused you to lose a lot. And it, you might have been all up in your emotions. And you were, they were trying to send you messages. But cancer, a lot of you guys are so tapped in and tuned in with God, the universe. You didn't want to do the wrong thing. Maybe you were transitioning from one partnership to another. Let's see. Yeah, look. Look, the other side of the cards. You were transitioning from one partnership. And it was dark. It was hard. It was you following God's guidance. Some of you guys had to let go. And, and this is God letting go of all your baggage. Everything they did to you. The backstabbing and everything. And they sent you on your way. So for some of you guys, you were drawn away to a different place. And God, I'm here. God taught you or is teaching you to practice patience is what I'm hearing. And you can see patience because the water right here is just calm. And even though you were waiting for God, the universe to give you that sign cycle, moon cycle after moon cycle, I'm hearing you learn patience. And I see the stillness of the water there and I see it right here learn patience to calm your emotions to trust in god the universe that's freaking badass okay okay and while you were in this energy of not knowing how to decide and for a lot of you guys cancer some of you guys have a hard time making the decision you want to make the decision but what people might not understand about you cancer is that you're very intuitive. You're close to Pisces, and maybe you guys could be equally, who knows, however God created you, but I'm hearing cancer. What people don't know is that you seek God's guidance, and you won't make that decision until you feel it in your soul, in your heart, and in that period of time, the devil comes in or whoever came in and destroyed you. It's almost like 
they hurt you with their actions. This particular person you might that you have a lot of love for had, because some of you guys forgave, you let go, forgave, but you remember how they let you down. And so do they. I'm here, so do they remember. This particular person is finding feelings for you. But some of them, I'm hearing they're playing games. But they're mad because they don't understand how is it that God continues to bless you. For a lot of them, they think that you're doing witchcraft. All oh, this particular person, they're spiritual, but all oh, they must be doing that. And for some of you guys, you have a particular person that is doing black magic on you. And it just ain't working. And it ain't working because look. Didn't I say you're waiting on God, the universe? Look at you, the star, baby. You just God's child, baby. You just the chosen one. And you show God how much you trust. And that's why God loves you so much. You, you, feel, you feel the love. And look how much darkness could be around. You still trust God. You still look towards his, his guidance. And cancer, you might not be perfect. And people don't understand why is it that cancer always gets freaking blessed with all these things, these options, these, how does cancer do it? And how does he still keep on winning? Because you see God, the universe, and they don't know that. And, and it's like, why, are, why are you so focused on, on, on where you're going? You know, cause the universe tells you which way to go. And some of you guys will be traveling. I'm hearing the world. And they're jealous. They're freaking jealous. They're watching you from all kinds of level. And so is God. But look, like I left cancer crying. But he got up and she got up and look, moving. The universe is always has an eye on whoever hurts you. And I'm hearing your ancestors are so proud of you. <laughs> Even the grumpy one. I'm hearing the grumpy one. Maybe you guys have a grumpy ancestor. Or maybe a... For some of you guys, it was a parental figure maybe that passed away. Yeah, some of y'all love this particular person, man or female. Maybe a little narcissistic. And boy, were they hard on you as a child is what I'm hearing. But they're very proud of you and they're laughing. They're smiling. They're not laughing at you. They're like, wow. Some of them were intimidated on how much you resemble them. So they try to suppress you. They didn't understand why you had this much faith in God. Because some of you guys, they were just jealous on how things came to you effortlessly and endlessly. And they had to bust their freaking ass is what I'm hearing. But there's something special about you. I'm cancer. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe, comment if this is you. Claim this energy. Put in the comments. I'm freaking blessed. God loves me. I'm fearless. I am God's favorite is what I'm hearing. But don't be afraid to put it on there. Your ancestor, the grumpy one, knows. And they support you now. They wish they would have treated you better. But this is you and <laughs> the page of swords or somebody's like how the fuck does cancer keep going cancer just with their eyes closed they're still being blessed you don't walk you don't walk by sight you walk by faith is what I'm hearing and you put in the work this fell out as I was talking you, you whatever you do cancer whatever project you put love into it fucking grows and i'm hearing a lot a lot of you guys it's because you trust in god and it's almost like you feel that god guides you on what to do and for a lot of people they're like oh these you know he or she they don't do that much and why is it they grow a lot of the times wait where you're not showing up, there's something that you're studying or maybe you're, you're studying in a new career, a new field, or whatever you do is what I'm hearing. Wherever God guides you, you put a lot of time into studying and how you're going to present and you work on the craft. And this is you with God, the universe. And people are starting to realize like, wow, 
Maybe you're inspiring people to take that leap of faith, even if it's a small page leap of faith, but do it with passion. You know, and it might seem black and white right now that it might not get off the ground. But if you keep moving forward, even through these dark times, you'll see the white clouds, you'll break, you'll have your breakthrough. And it's all about balancing your emotions, going with the flow. You'll have a good week. You'll have a bad week. You, but you always overcome it. Why? Because you have a lot of passion. For some of you guys, you have love coming in or you have an admirer. You're not focused on this person. But there's somebody, man or female, that is admiring how you're doing things. And you're so focused on building and, and God guiding you. And there's somebody in the background going, ay, hijo de la chingada, ese hombre, esa mujer, me encanta para mí. And, and then that's just translating like, uh, and I don't know if I'm dealing, you guys are dealing with somebody with Spanish or just a different language. And in their language, they're looking at you because they could be foreign. And they're looking at you and they're like, oh my God, cancer is the one for me. They admire you. They're like, wow, I want cancer. What do I need? And you don't even know this is happening behind the scenes. And this is somebody that God might have sent you or sending you. And you're too busy working on your craft. As you should is what I'm hearing. Why look? The universe has you. For some of you guys, if you're looking for love, God has that tied up for you. God has something special for you. And for a lot of you guys, the universe is telling you to stay dressed up, stay looking fly, stay looking good, no matter what. And God is going to protect you of these snakes that come in, people that want to take advantage of you. That shit ain't going to happen. One, because you're going to use your intuition and your discernment. Two, which is the main one, is that God has got your back, baby. Put in the comments, God has got me. I am divinely protected. And look. I see those hills, ice cold. You know, man, you're, you're not going to be dealing with people that have no um, emotional. Um, you know, when I'm hearing somebody that doesn't know how to express their emotions, God is, is going to bring you somebody that knows how to communicate. That is, if they have a hardened heart, yeah, that shit ain't for you. Mm -mm. You don't want no cold BS. You want good love. Put in the comments. Good love. You want that ace of cups. Yes, that overflow of love. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your truck. Look at this. What do you have coming? The nine of cups, cancer. Shit. Walking into Libra season or exiting Libra season, you have your nine of cups. And for a lot of you guys, you've been having this energy for a while. And it's been, for a lot of you guys, you see the curtains right there? People don't even know how happy you are. They don't understand how is it that you're not crying and whining and you're not dragging all over the floor. They might have, this particular person, if this was an ex spouse, they might have took all your shit. If you went through a heavy divorce, If you went through a heavy divorce, where's that card? Uh-uh, hold up. Where's the full look? I don't know, it must have placed back in here. If you went through a divorce, they want me to use this bottom card. They wanted you to be tied up in this devil energy and look behind the scenes, you're freaking happy. So some of you guys, some of you guys is what I'm hearing. You're putting up a front and you're not telling them you're moving different, Cancer, is what I'm hearing. Put in the comments, I'm moving different. And it's divinely guided on how you're moving and it pushed you into freedom and this particular person, Cancer. I don't know why I'm whispering. For my people that went through a divorce, the universe, God, was whispering in your ear. And when they were fighting for everything they wanted to take from you, the universe, God, was telling you, let them have it. Maybe you heard them whispers. And that particular ex, this is you showing up. 
in the divorce, going back and forth. It's like everything you're like, okay, okay. Keep that shit is what I'm hearing. You wasn't bitter because you know the universe provides for you. That's why you continue to get these fucking blessings. Excuse my language. And it's biting them all up in their head and they got this conflict because they thought they took everything from you. It's just like the story of Job for my females or men. Didn't Job from the Bible have a bitter wife? This could be bitter husband. Put yourself how you belong, man or female. They're pissed. They're all up in their head because you exposed them. I'm hearing God exposed them. And no matter if they took from you cancer, even if they took from you, Everything always comes to you effortlessly, endlessly. Ask and you shall receive it. The universe is giving you everything you ask. And I'm hearing tenfold, baby. Whew. Look at this. Seven, seven. Some of you guys are seeing seven, seven. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Look. Now they want to come back and work with you. But they're all up in their head because they can't. The universe blocked them. For some of you guys, if this freaking loser I'm hearing divorced you and took everything from you they didn't have shit when they met you a lot of you guys provided energy healing love sexual healing they could have came from a broken home and you healed them you gave them everything and once you took on this road of your spiritual journey when they betrayed you I'm hearing they betrayed God you warned them and cancer you wasn't perfect you wasn't perfect. You might have had this devil energy, but you were obeying God in his way he wanted you to move. Cancer. Whew. That was deep. They're jealous of your gifts and your talents. I'm hearing that. What did I say? You're in this night of pentacles. And they're under judgment for betraying you. I'm telling you, when they stole from you, and I'm hearing the whisper during your divorce, the universe was telling you, let them have it. Everything they asked for. They know they screwed you over, is what I'm hearing. And they might have had this attitude as they took from you, man or female. And the universe was telling you, let them have it. And they thought they got one over you. But what they're realizing is what God. <laughs> and I don't want to laugh because this person's about to go through it. And I'm hearing just like the infinite sign, what you put out shall return. And cancer, you knew spiritual law. And if you're new to this channel or you're new to what spiritual law is, YouTube it. What you put out, you shall receive is one of them. You understood that. So while you were being tested, so was they. Now their karma is to see you prosper. And cancer. Some of you guys will look back at this particular person and you'll look and, they'll, and you'll say, well, why is it this person still has everything I took? If it was a business, they took it from you. If it was a house, they tried. Maybe they took more percentage of it. If it was your, even your personal, some of you guys, your jewelry, everything they took. Maybe you left with your shirt on your back. But you trusted in God, the universe. And that's more powerful. That's, my God. Just trust me. If you're listening to this, let everything go and put God first. He will always provide and that person might have took your business, might have took your things, but for them to keep up with it, if it was your business, they got to work 10 times more while you get everything you want effortlessly, endlessly. Put it in the comments. And they see you in this energy. And look, some of you guys are seeing hawks. Or hawks are uh, very important as, a far, as far as of a spiritual totem animal. They want you to Google that. But 
Look, you're prosperous. And that's their karma is to see you prosper and be left out in cold, out in the cold. If they put you out, they're about to be put out. And it's not even you. It's God that's going to put them out. And you see that thunder? This person's karma. Ooh. I, I, I hate to be in this person's person's uh, uh mm, mm -mm. you can see the devil look and they they can't even look at the devil in their eyes and the devil's like yep you did this you did that and guess what look mm -hmm, the judge god is like you so you might have went through your trial tribulations cancer but you passed them and that's why I heard in the beginning, dude, you're doing freaking amazing. Put it in the comments. I'm doing freaking amazing. And the devil's even amazed on how strong your faith is with God. So let's get a card for manifestation. And you got this. And it says right here, when I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. Cancer, that's why they... They envy you. They hate you. They're jealous of you. And what did I say? Patience. It says, I am patient. I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. You put your full trust in the universe. And e my God, hold up. Mm -mm, you won cancer. I don't know. But you stay winning cancer. And sometimes like... Like I said, behind the scenes, baby. You see the curtains behind the scenes. People barely peek in and they're like, how's cancer doing? How's cancer doing? You ain't letting nobody know. Some of you guys are just silently moving. And it's almost like, no, God, you tell me which way to move. And you're waiting. And look, behind the scenes, baby, you fully content. The universe wants you to keep moving that way. That's what I have for you. Hit the like button, cancer. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe comment I am grateful I'm confident I'm strong I'm fearless I'm a freaking spiritual gangster put it in the comments Infinite Tarot 888